Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my next Let's Play. No, I'm not giving up on Super Metroid. I've already got plenty of parts recorded in advance. I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a simultaneous uh, Let's Play of another game, which you'll see in just a second. First of all, look at this. You see that? You see that? That's Chrono Trigger, baby! Chrono Trigger! One of the best RPGs ever. I recommend you get it. It's only, I think it's 800 points. So if you've got a Wii, get it. Uh, yeah, it came out on DS a while back. And uh, it, has, it has some nice improvements to it, but I mean, there's nothing like playing the original, in my opinion, so um, get it. And um, anyway, whilst I continue my Metroid uh, Let's Play, uh, I kind of get impatient when wanting to do other stuff, since I already have so many parts of recorded in advance, and I'm only going to post like, one, I'm going to post one like every, anywhere from one to three days, whatever I feel like. So while I'm waiting, maybe I can go ahead and start another series. And I've been itching to do, uh, like, Mega Man or Resident Evil, as I explained in another video. But I figured, what the hell, I'm going to go with the Resident Evil 1 remake for GameCube. Only then, I decided I'm going to do something else first. What is that, you might ask? Well, let's find out. Let's see what we got here. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. I sure hope so. It makes it more interesting. Nice, it's by Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Capcom. So either way, Capcom wins. I was going to pick one or the other. Nothing. Wait, what's this? What? No? That, what? What is that? That's that's not Resident Evil 1. Oh! Oh! That's Resident Evil 0! What better place to start than the very, very beginning? I mean, like, even before the beginning. Let's start at zero. Uh, I think the controls are the way I want them. I, I uh, Let me double check, though. I did a little run-through earlier uh, to make sure I knew what I was doing with the controls and whatnot. And, um... Yeah, this is pretty much what I want. So, we're gonna go with this. And, um... Yeah. Uh, like I said in... Uh, one of the Metroid videos. I am going to do Resident Evil 0, 1, the remake of one that is, 2, 3, and Veronica X, if I can get a copy of it. I don't have a copy of it yet. I have 0, 1 remake, 2, and 3 on GameCube, and I was looking on Amazon, and uh, I can get a copy of the GameCube version, but it's really expensive. Or I can get a cheaper copy of the PS2 version. I'd rather have it on GameCube because... The more I think about it, the more I really don't like my place. Well, okay, that's, that's unfair. It's I shouldn't talk about like at least the PS2 version of the PS3, because that's all I use my PS3 for anymore, or is backwards compatibility. But anyway, enough of that jabbering. I can always talk about that later. Let's begin. Um, let's do let's do normal. This has been a while. Here we go. Resident Evil Zero. Zero. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this, but, uh, when I first got my... Oh, sorry, I'll shut up. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. Veronica. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. What the hell is Sheena Island? There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic Mr. I don't events. remember what Sheena Island is. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as was that the Veronica origin also? of this faceless corporation. I don't remember. When was it established? Everybody remembers. By uh, leave me a comment or a message or something. And how was the T-Virus created? How was it created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. The mansion incident. Uh, well, there's a little bit of dead air here. Um, I'm gonna explain it. This was actually the first game I got when I got my GameCube. I got when they were first advertising them for. Uh, Do you think so too? Ninety nine, ninety nine, and uh, they had like a mail in offer for the Zelda collector's disc. So while I was waiting for that, this is I had to have my four A game, and Zero was only like twenty bucks. This is on even when well, I was even on even more of a budget. So uh, yeah, and ooh, who's this lady in the dress here? Wait, is that a lady? Huh? No. Hmm. What's out there? Oh my God! 
Uh, ooh, that's, 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 uh, that's probably not part of the local wild type. Oh, this, this doesn't, no, um, yeah, I don't know if this is covering what this con, they should probably ask about that. And, uh, wait, is that lady in the dress? Wait a minute, that's, that's not a woman. Oh my god, it's a man with an identity crisis! Inter Interstars. This is Bravo Team. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. And who's our hero? Nothing Who in our training could ever have prepared us Life for the for nightmare that ensued. Bravo Medic Never Extraordinaire. Chance. Sorry. Oh, that could be engine failure. Engine failure. Emergency landing. Engine failure. Emergency landing. Pop up. I give this guy credit for having his, his engine go out. That was a pretty decent landing, I mean. Landed on the little bar things and whatnot. Yeah, good job. Thumbs up. I'm just gonna Check sit the here. Position and investigate the surrounding area. What's out there? Captain, look! Lucky! Uh-oh. <gasps> No, they are not zombies. Captain. Hmm? Hmm? What happened? Uh oh, what's that? What's you? Gross. It's drippy. <coughs> Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen. Also goes by Billy Badass. 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Rut row. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Execution? Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. And that scum murdered them and escaped. Did you see All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Yeah. Hmm. Flashlight on the... Gun. Wait, is that attached to the gun? Because I don't think it's actually, like, used in the game. It'd be nice, though, at times. I'll probably need to adjust the bri the brightness settings on this video. It oh, it's a train. I'll probably need to adjust the brightness settings because it is a little dark in the game. It's hard for me to tell, though, because I'm playing... Uh, my brightness is kind of cranked up on my TV. And I only did that for like one game, I don't remember what it was, and it's, I've just kind of stuck with it since. Oh, and uh, of course it's dramatically raining, but that's okay. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Dot, dot, dot. Enter our barely legal heroine, Rebecca Chambers. And she's packing. She's actually got a gun. She's not going to... Hose you down with first aid spray or whatever, because you know that was a good way to take down a zombie. Uh, for those who played Resident Evil One, um, where to go first? Uh, is it this way. Let's see. Luggage last strewn about the cabin. Blah, 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 blah. Blood everywhere. Hmm. This. Oh wait. Is that, a, is that a body? Is that a body? We're not even gonna take note of the body, unless that just happens to be. Damn it. Yeah. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, that one's locked. Dining car. Hmm. That's a shame. I'm hungry. Um. Can't go. This is the other side. Okay. Uh, the way I'm going to do this video is, um, I don't have the, the luxury of uh, save stating like I do on uh, virtual console games, so there may be times where I'll have to cut a video short. And I'll, I'll let everybody know as long as I notice the time, but, um,. Like in the next video, you may see me randomly at the the typewriter or something like that, because I'll have made my way to the typewriter in between the video that ended in the next. So I'm just gonna do that kind of crap off camera. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team. Yep, Bravo. Please right. identify yourself. Is someone there? Why is she wearing a collar, by the way? That's kind of hot. I guess. 
She doesn't seem that spooked, does she? Like, uh, uh, oh, oh shit, no. Okay. You, and run the hell away. Can we get away? Alright. I probably have to fight them eventually. I, pro I probably should have gone ahead and finished them off. But, um, for now, we're just gonna let them go. Um... You'll notice that you only have six slots. This is starting to feel like um, Resident Evil 1 Chris Edition. But, um, you'll see, that's alleviated, or uh, that's uh, fixed soon. You'll notice that, uh, in, like in a few other Resident Evils, uh, she has her own personal item. This is the mixing kit. I don't remember what exactly this does. I think, it, I think she, maybe she's the only one that can mix herbs. But I want to say it has some other purpose, too. We'll find that out eventually, though. Uh, I got a couple more minutes, so we can go ahead and get the next cutscene. Then, uh, we'll end the video there. It's good enough. Uh, I don't think I can go through the door back there. It's still locked. Oh, I think one of them was a save room, but, uh, well, we'll wait. Uh, okay, let's check this guy. Really torn apart. He's holding something. Take the train key. Yes. Here comes a cutscene. Uh-oh. 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 It's a rapist. It's not Rebecca! Oh, wait a minute. That's a... Uh, oh, could still be Billy. a rapist. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. Billy badass so, to you. you seem to know me. Yeah. Been fantasizing about me, have you? Yeah. I mean, no. You were the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, uh, I see. You're with stars. Yep. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time. He just completely over. shrugs her off. Wait, you're under arrest. Whatever. No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. <laughs> I could shoot, you know. Good, but you won't. Just side off, I think. Oh my God! What was that? Edward. Oh. Right. That was quite an entrance. What happened? It's worse than we can't. You must be yeah. careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of zombies and monsters. Some the monsters. Zombies and monsters. Oh my! Uh, uh, it, <laughs> oh my God! Fucking dogs. Dogs are more vicious in this game than in some of the other Resident Evils. Pull the trigger immediately. Start firing. Do not stop. Okay, there is uh, auto aim in this, so and th that's really helpful. Uh, once the dog's down, uh, you can still keep shooting. Oh my God! Uh, okay, that did that didn't work. That didn't work. Little shit. Fucker. Ah, uh, okay. That was fun. Alright, let's check him. Oh, you're just so happy! Oh. Well, thank you, Edward. This is the nicest thing you've ever done for me. Anything else? No. Um. I think this is the conductor's office. Oh, yeah. I got that round of nosy. Um. This leads to the front of the train, if I'm not mistaken. Damn it. Uh, the analog control in this game is still better than uh, other games that support analog, or uh, other Resident Evil games that support analog, but, um, <laughs> still needs some work. But it's better than using the D-pad. So it's just the Wii's, or the GameCube's, uh, D-pad is so, uh, well, small. Okay, um, let's loot the room real quick, and then I'll call it quits for this episode. Let's take the ink ribbon... Herb. Take the nug. Gonna flip through it real quick. If you want to read it, pause it. Yep. 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 Okay. 
Okay, that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.